Nico, obviously the result wasn't what you guys wanted, but I asked Mikhail there, just what does it mean to play in front of this fan base this season and just do you have a message for them? Yeah, I, I certainly uh, don't uh, don't take it for granted um, with the season that we had. Um, for the fans to show up uh, to you know, all of the games, uh, the last game of the season when there's nothing to play for in the standings, and um, they had a ton of fun. Um, and uh, you know, as, a, as an organization, as, as players, we... We owe it to them to uh, get back to having um, buildings, uh, you know, a capacity of fans like this back in the rink uh, every night, whether it's a Saturday night or Tuesday night, it shouldn't matter. And it starts with a product on the ice, um, and that's what we what we have to get back to because it's so much more fun to play in, you know, when the building's rocking like it was tonight than uh, when it's empty. Um, that's why that's why you play the game. There's more emotions uh, that's swapping over from the fans on, onto the ice. Um, and so yeah, it's up to us to get back to that. Look like you spent a little extra time, um, a little extra time, you know, grabbing a few things from the fans, signing. Yeah. What, is that something you've made a point to do in the past? Yeah, I try to, you know, on the way out, stop uh, whenever I can. I mean, at the end of the day, like you know, they they pay my bills. You know, they come to the, they, they buy tickets, they buy merchandise, they love the team, they love us as players. Um, and there's gonna be a day uh, where not a, not a soul in the world's gonna ask for my autograph anymore. So. Uh, when I can, I try to take the time and, um, and uh, you know, pay them back and, and put a smile on their face. And Nico, what happened uh, in the second period, kind of emblematic of the year, kind of quick goals, and then yeah. also it's a different game. Yeah, we've talked about it a lot. It's uh, usually cascades, you know, when we give up a goal. Um, we we struggled all year from, from day one to, to, to now to contain the momentum of the game. Uh, and um, doesn't take much in this league, and then and then you know two two minutes where you're where you're snoozing, and, and the game's the game's gone. Yeah. This loss kind of ensures that you guys will finish in last place in the league. I mean, how does this team get better? Like, what's the next step for this team to try to improve for next year? I guess. Oh, uh, where to start? Um, I mean, I. I personally can only look at you know myself. I, I, I'm not I'm not the GM. I'm not I, I'm not sitting at the at the table and, and putting the roster together. So for me, it's it's what I can do to to get better. Um, and um, so that's what I'm going to focus on this offseason. I think questions of where this roster needs to be improved are uh, you know better safe for for Quinny or for Grizzly. Um, David said this morning, though, um, in terms of uh, the, ideally that the roster, the team is harder to play yeah. against. Is that, you know, is that mental? A lot of that uh, you think, or what? What is that? You know, that hard to play against attitude. Is that you know mental? Is that physical? I mean, certain part of it is being physical. I mean, if you're six four, you have an advantage against a guy that's five eight. That's just the way it is. But um, yeah, well, of course. Even if you're like a, a smaller guy, or you're undersized. Uh, you may not throw other guys around on the ice or hammer guys into the board. So you gotta find a way. Maybe there's a 50-50 puck on the draw. You know, there's 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 stick battles where you can be hard. Um, and the other two, other thing too is is uh, mental toughness. I think I've talked about it all year. It's uh, very easy to be good in good spirits and, and feel good in September and October. That's everybody. Every player in the league feels good about themselves in September, October. But what are you going to do when, like, you know, the bo your body starts starts hurting when uh, you play four games in six days and, and um, uh, you know, when you're going through a slump? How are you going to respond in February and March? Also, you know, at some point down the road, not right away, but, you know, I want to get back to playoffs. Uh, so... You know, this is the time of the year now where other teams are going to be in playoffs, like where you be, you got to be 100% um, and not uh, try to find your game. So this is like, how do we, how do we, you know, have uh, everybody in the roster um, from day one and day in training camp till the very last day of the season without very many ups and downs. And obviously we have a lot of turnover and a lot of young guys coming in and all the lineup. And um, I take uh, as part of my responsibility to teach them to be a uh, NHL player every day. You never take a day for granted to show up on an off day, get a little extra bike ride in, whatever you have to do. To it. there's always a next game. That's the the blessing of being in this league. And uh, 
um, yeah, like I said, at, at the end of the day, every single one of us that's going to be here next year, take a long, hard look in the mirror and, and uh, try not to be in the exact same position when we stand here next year. Guys, I say, yep. you go. You're welcome.